Lately, I've been playing around with Mantaflow, trying to create even better simulations. This meant for me that I would often hit bake, turn off my monitor, and hope Blender wouldn't crash. Sometimes this worked out for me, but most of the time I just come back to see that Blender crashed three hours ago and I've just wasted a lot of time. So, here is my solution. I wrote this little Python script that sets up a local web server so you can check from your phone if Blender is still running. I kind of don't know what I did here anymore, but I'll do my best to explain the code. The main logic of this Python script lays in the doGet method. Basically, I set up a web server with the doGet method as a base. This method gets executed every time you reload the page. Then, on every reload, I use the psutil module to output the CPU and RAM usage, as well as to loop through all of the running processes to see if Blender is still running. This block of code up here just improves the usability for Windows users because it allows me to return a usable IPv4 address. To connect to this web server from a different device, you need the IPv4 address of your PC. This address is then followed by the server port, which is hard-coded to 8000 right here. I just use this method to create a QR code which you can easily scan with your phone to connect to the web page. On Linux or Mac, you'll need to input your IPv4 address manually to have the QR code generated. So with the script ready, I can now click on Run, which will then give me the QR code. Once scanned, I will close this window and the server will start. The server can only be stopped with a keyboard interrupt, so let's click into our terminal and press Ctrl and C, and you can see that this server has stopped. But of course, you won't have to code this for yourself, you can just go into the video description and download it either from Gumroad or GitHub. Next, I'll just quickly show you how to install all of the needed modules for Python and how to run this script without Visual Studio Code. When you download the project file, you'll receive two files, one named requirements.txt and the stream.python file. Before running, before executing this file, we will need to install the requirements. These are psutil, QR code and pillow. The installation process is pretty simple. You just need to click into this bar right here and type in cmd and now you can use pip to install the requirements file. For pip you have to have python installed and I would suggest you to use anaconda. There are some great tutorials out there on how to use it, so I'll not go about how to install anaconda in this video. But basically anaconda allows you to create python environments. So I can go ahead and activate mine. And now I can check if pip is installed, and it is, and type in pip install-r and then requirements.txt. And you can see that the requirements will be installed automatically. Great, with this done, we can now type in python and then stream.py. And you can see that once executed, the QR code will be generated and the server will be started. Again, you can stop the server with a keyboard interrupt, meaning Ctrl and C will do the trick. Be aware that once connected you might have to reload the web page multiple times for it to refresh, because while baking your computer is probably actively dying, meaning that the web server might not be the fastest. And yeah, that's basically it. This is everything I wanted to talk about today, and I hope this topic was interesting. If it was, consider liking and subscribing. And we'll see each other in the next video next Saturday.